Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. We're finally back in Washington and after being here outside for the first day, I'm seeing some crazy stuff, guys, okay? So, not my cars, okay? My cars are all good, all perfect. But I just saw another Mercedes right there, which is crazy. It's been sitting there for quite a while and apparently what happened is that they probably drove over the, over the curb and lower control arm broke or something like that and they just left it here just like so and the car is actually open guys it's a c-class it's a w202 and guys let me tell you i mean this is this is crazy um this car is open right and there's actually a brand new control arm inside and there's a title for this car i mean it's it's crazy i really want to find the owner of this car and help them out you know because there's uh actually uh there's a broken control arm inside it's literally the, the one of the doors was just open so uh just to show you and my friend was actually sending me pictures of this car before but as you can see the control arm is just broken off right here and there's a spring in there and everything and it's crazy guys i mean i i can't believe it um you know this this is super amazing clean car actually you know um there's bolts for it and all the stuff and there's actually a brand new control arm i mean it's it's not so i'm really gonna try to find the owner of this amazing car um and i'm really hoping to uh, revive this car and bring it back to life you know uh, and i don't know i think this car's been here for like at least three months because my friend has been sending me some pictures of this car uh here and there um and it's really sad seeing it here so and there's actually a, a wheel in the back right there spare tire it's a c280 but oh boy it's crazy i don't know how they just left it like this here so apparently they took the rest of the stuff out the spring they left everything inside and maybe they just didn't know how to put it back together or something i'm really not sure what happened um and i don't know there, there was no jackson i really don't know the history what actually happened here because i wasn't here so if you look right there i mean right there right now like the fender is damaged and all that stuff the bumper is damaged you know it's it's really sad but right there i mean spring porch is intact and i mean everything else looks okay so literally i mean i think we just need to slap that control arm back on and the car is gonna be good that's what i think so what do you guys think i'm, I'm about to like i'm really i'm debating i just you know I, I'm, I have a lot of other work i need to do and yeah i'm supposed to wear a mask you know all this crazy stuff going on but long story short guys i really want to like get this car back on its legs you know i'm gonna try to find out who's the owner of this car uh and try to contact them and maybe even surprise them by just you know fixing their car um you know because i have all the tools i have the spring compressor actually have to use you're supposed to use the spring compressor on these uh mercedes and um yeah the springs on these w202s are, are not as strong as the w123 front springs but still they're pretty strong so it's insane guys so that's some pretty cool stuff for you um and looks like it already had a ticket before so I really don't know what's up, but I'm really trying to go ahead and save this car. Maybe even make it my daily. I don't know. I mean, there's it's from California, so I mean, there's some paint faded and all that stuff, and you know, the roof doesn't look too good. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty awesome car, honestly saying. So we'll see how everything goes. But I'm looking forward to this uh, thing and getting this thing back on the road guys wish me luck all right guys so i finally came back and what we're gonna do um i cannot get in touch with the with the owner of this w202 uh so I don't know i mean i really like if you look at this car i mean it's just it's just so sad i mean like it's she's just like sitting here crying look literally like it's insane so and there's actually parts inside of this car so i'm probably gonna go ahead and lift it up soon 
in a little bit here and we're gonna go ahead and try to um, you know at least uh, get this car up and you know install the control arm because it's actually inside the car so I'm gonna probably do that um, just so she's not just sitting like this on its belly so we're gonna do that and I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, you know keep trying to find the owner I mean I know the first and last name of the owner I just I just can't find him anywhere unfortunately so I don't know he probably just uh, so what happens actually there's a wheel uh, the original wheel that's actually broken uh, it's actually in this in the trunk and what happened is uh, um, he probably drove into a curb or something damaged the wheel damaged the control arm and then he just parked it here somehow so that's pretty sad uh, and the funny thing is that there's a brand new control arm inside the car uh, and I don't know what happened why they didn't finish installing it or whatever I'm not sure and why they couldn't just leave the wheel on why they had to take the wheel off and just leave it like that I, I have no clue guys I mean other than that I mean the car is pretty much flawless except the roof you know it's this car this car is from California so um, there's gonna be some paint damage, but it's still a really nice car. The interior is literally flawless, guys. All right, guys. So here we have. We're gonna actually lift this end first. Uh, I could barely uh, put my in my jack in there. Regular jack is not gonna work. Uh, you have you need like a low profile jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift it slowly. We're also gonna put some chocks on that tire, the left rear, just in case. Well, I found these rotors here, so we're gonna use them. Like that. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to revive this baby, or what the heck? She's just sitting here crying. lift because uh, this jack is pretty strong and the car itself so we might be able to just lift the whole car up like that coming up she's coming up slowly all right so i got some damage here but we're gonna put uh, another jack here so we can lift it a little higher. All right, guys, there she is. This is the my favorite M112 engine, guys. This is a 2.8. This is two C280, uh, the year 2000. And these engines are phenomenal. I really love this engine. Um, I have one of these engines in my W210 Mercedes, so. Yeah, we're gonna try and bring this girl back, see what's up with it. All right, gonna be lifting this puppy up. Oh, look at that. She's pretty much almost up on the, her legs. I'm gonna, of course, put a jack stand under, but trying to see what happened here I mean everything seems to be in place <sighs> all right guys so uh, nothing is as easy as uh, you think it will be this is the damaged control arm that came with the car uh, as you can see they, they hit something pretty hard it's actually original OEM Mercedes part uh, and we have a brand new one but the problem is that it doesn't fit because one of the control arm mounts uh, just kind of broke like not it didn't break off but it got pushed towards the rear uh, so I'm gonna show it to you just in a second so here's a brand new control arm let me try to 
install it, it goes in here fine, right? But right there, you can see what happens. It's just uh, that rear mount is pushed all the way backwards. So it's shifted. So this really sucks. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna probably have to try and uh, knock this thing back to where it was, but it's gonna be really difficult, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. So, plus it's not my car, but I really want. I uh, feel bad for the car. I mean, it was just sitting on its belly, pretty much. It was, it was crying. So, we'll see what we can do. I might just leave it on the jack stand for now, and we'll get back to it at some point. I'm not really sure. I have a lot of other projects going on. I have my W123 right there. Uh, waiting and all the other stuff so all right guys so uh, here's the car and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the wheel back on and luckily we have bolts inside uh, the car that I found and um, for now I'm just gonna reinstall the wheel uh, and leave it on jack stand or maybe put the tire under the car or something um, just so they don't think that's completely abandoned um, so long story short you guys saw the rear mount and um, I did try to pry on it and use a hammer to bend it back but it's pretty strong it's pretty difficult to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and brainstorm as of right now and in the meantime I'm gonna put this wheel uh, back on and just leave it the way it is and uh, hopefully I can figure something out in the near future uh, for this car you know we'll see what we can do but uh, hopefully we can come up with something so uh, we can at least you know have this thing operational um, and at least so we can you know have a wheel on and normal suspension so so that's the current plan guys and uh, I'm gonna just brainstorm and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and work on my other cars and yeah, hopefully I can come up with something. I mean, I have a couple ideas in my head what I want to do and how I want to bring that rear lower control arm mount back. Uh, so, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully all goes well. Alright guys, so here's the current situation of the car. I removed the bumper completely because it would not go on. It was damaged, uh, like on the inner part. So uh, I put it inside the car for now, and maybe I will. I'll probably repair it, uh, just or remove like because there's a piece on the inside of the bumper that is actually sticking out. It's not letting it like sit flush on the car so I'll figure something out on that for now I just took it off just instead of you know letting it just sit hang and just hang loosely so it's gonna be inside the car and there you have it at least at least right now it looks a little better um, you know than it was before so we'll see uh, what plans we'll have for this car but I really hope uh, we're gonna get it back on the road and we'll find the owner and we'll get the key for it um, so I still have my fingers crossed uh, on that so we'll let you know what happens